a very nice place. It's a, like the idea of festival, that you are in a place and there is a good uh, compresence of, uh, of business and culture together. Out of the ordinary, um, totally unexpected, not typical, inspirative, I think a very good example of interdisciplinary work. <laughs> Hub Festival. It was such a new thing I experienced. It, I've never been to um, an event like this. We started 10 years ago with our furniture days, which started small and went at the end really, really big. We took a one year break and then we decided to do um, something different. The people, they're seeing so many things every day and I think people who are visiting Interprint believe that we do something different which gives them something new to think or to rethink or to explore. And it's really a self-explorative thing. Together with partners and people from other areas which are important to make sure that we all supply a nice furniture. So it's a way to put together different things on a same event. You know, in Italy, trend is a bad word. Uh, we, we prefer to use uh, vision, because uh, to understand a trend, you have to have a vision. To talk about trends is also, for me, always talking about the future. Working with trends is becoming more important because the time span that teams have to develop products is not getting a lot shorter, but the, the market is moving faster. So you cannot really speed up in order to keep pace. You need to, to look more into the future, to be prepared. The customers, they are focused on trends even more in the future. So if you don't know what they will like in two years, you cannot prepare. There will be other um, brands and other furniture um, brands that can because they are on trend. Um, future of trends, yeah, there are so many that we think not only for us as well for everybody else, we need to make sure that we pick up the right ones. And maybe we have to think much more on target groups. My topic in the moment is uh, I live where I work and I work where I live because this world is changing. You, live at, you work at home, you work, in, uh, you work in a coffee or in a bar or in a, in a hotel lobby, and then you go to your office and this world looks different. And I think nowadays this world are getting closer together. And I think there's a lot to do in these three spaces. And this is the moment, the, the, the era which I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to be part of development. Ah, <laughs> that's my favorite one. Furniture has to be um, put in scene. Like, I have to go to a place to enjoy furniture. It's not like I go to a place and I compare 10 sofas. I will, I will go to a place which I know is, is, is appealing to my lifestyle and I will experience mixed things. For us, there is a big change now. And the, the, the store of the future is in your device because you inform yourself what you want. You check situations and you check your environment and then you just decide what you want to buy and you buy it. You don't need to go actually anymore to a big, big furniture store. I think this is something which is happening now. Maybe not ready now, but it starts to happen and I think we need to be prepared for this as an industry. I cannot imagine that uh, a furniture store will completely die because when you buy a, a piece of furniture which you want to have uh, for your life because um, like a expensive um, bed or sofa, you, wanted to, you want to feel it, you want to try it out, you want to sit on it, you want to lay on it. Like today you go and you use a car for one hour, two hours, uh, probably in the future uh, you will have the possibility to stay one day, two days in, a, in an house and to understand uh, uh, how your house could be. Ooh, Italian design. 
Italian design, in, in my opinion, is a sort of a historical movement uh, uh, with the idea to change the, the planet. There is also a very interesting young generation of Italian designers coming out, so I think it's a really nice period. But, as I said, I'm Italian, so maybe I'm partial on this. <laughs> so. I'm Italian, and now I have to say something which is maybe not nice for all the Italians. I'm not really believing anymore in really only Italian design. Um, I think Italy is more the playground, and all international designers, all designers all over the world, go to this place because it's the nicest playground maybe of the world, and then they start to be creative, maybe together with Italians. But only Italian design is for me not enough anymore. For me, it's not an experience because it's my, my target, my, my job. I'm really looking forward to what the other guys are saying to experience decor paper. I'm really, really looking forward to it because for everybody it will be something new. I didn't think about it before I get in touch with Interprint because it was like, okay, there are floors and furniture and somehow they are printed with, um, with a um, wooden look or something like this, but I never thought about um, these things and where they come from. I'm a timber girl. I thought everything should be real wood instead, but it's not possible. So you have functional aspects, you have cost. And even in public spaces, when you don't have three million as a budget, you want to give that space an appealing touch. And you want um, everybody to be able to enjoy certain styles. And in my opinion, the, the, the paper decor uh, will be a very, very big, uh, very important future.